We are back here at the Homesteaders of America 2021 conference. Yep. And one of the best things about this conference is all the great speakers we bring in from all across the country. Yep. And we're here with cool. the man, Justin Rhodes, oh, from the Justin Rhodes you. Show. Thank you. How are you doing at the conference? I'm doing good. This is exciting. And what we've talked about this year? Well, I talked about uh, dealing with chronic illness. Turns out half of America has a chronic illness. 50% of Americans have a chronic illness. 25% have two or more. Rebecca and I both suffer from that hurt very on with Hashimoto's and me with Lyme disease. And we've talked about uh, one of the greatest freeing things you can do is become an entrepreneur Absolutely. and start a business. And we talked about and encourage people to do that and some tips on that. Entrepreneurship. This really excites me, this room full of people, because I haven't found anything better than to change the world, to change your world, your own world, than doing that through entrepreneurship and business. I went and asked my mom, I said, Mom, who's FICA and why am I paying them? So my wife and I sold every single big possession, our big old house and all of our junk. And we moved out into 11 acres. And eventually I took logs to the sawmill and carved out a log cabin for us. And we built it in 90 days. And we poop in a bucket. And we poop in a bucket. We've been sharing with you guys our lives on YouTube because we feel like there's a hunger for people that want to kind of break free, dismantle the rat wheel and do things for themselves. Yep. Our heart's desire is to teach you guys how you can break free from the system and you know live for yourself. All right, we're here with Daniel Salatin. Hey, you guys. With Polyface, what did we just talk about? Um, we just talked about farming without the vet. So we we're trying to get animals in a situation where they can be successful and match, best matched both breeds and size and shapes, all things that you can do to keep the animals healthy so you're not using drugs, pharmaceuticals, wormers, that kind of stuff. If you pick up any book on any animal livestock, there's usually a large portion dedicated to disease, sickness, health issues of that particular animal. Realize that every animal can be successful if we put it in the right environment with the right management and give it some rope to do what it needs to do. Appreciate you guys welcoming me here today and I appreciate all of you being together on a focused mission or interest and dedication towards homesteading. But basically I think one reason people are interested in natural living, uh, sort of synonymous with homesteading, getting back to basics, is because it's real. Hey, I'm Janet from Timber Creek Farm. I am a natural yarn dyer. My talk this year was on raising sheep for fiber, and we had a great uh, turnout for that. People were really interested in adding sheep to their um, small farms, and it's totally doable, so if you need help with that, just let me know. Hey guys, it's Joe Winger. I'm here at the 2021 Homesteaders of America Conference. It is so fun. Uh, I was here two years ago, and there is gotta be at least twice as many people. So I got to do a workshop this week. I spoke on homestead business and how to set up uh, your homestead business for success. And then yesterday I got to talk on managing all your time and balancing all the priorities on the homestead. So it's been a great weekend. Super excited to keep connecting with everybody while I'm here. So I'm here with one of this year's speakers, Mr. Pork Ryan. How you doing? Doing good. How are you, brother? All right. So what do we talk about this weekend? Oh man, I, I taught the kids about servant leadership. That's so important. And so teaching them about vulnerability and honesty was really important for me because vulnerability and honesty is what helped save my life. So yes, yeah, so I did that on Friday and that was awesome. I got the kids super excited. Uh, and then today I talked about a proper feed with raising pigs, how to formulate feed, what feed is about. Because uh, there's a lot of that misinformation about pig feed especially on YouTube, especially on Instagram and all these bloggers. And so as a professional swine educator, um, I've been able to really just teach people how to farm within their context, within their limited resources, so that way they can have healthy, happy pigs as well. Hi, I'm Carrie Wilson. I'm from the Little Pallet Farmhouse. 
So today I was presenting on horses and homesteading and specifically how we can use horses in work on the homestead. Work that horses can do. We're going to look at some different breeds that are suited to different types of work. And then we're also going to consider some limitations of working with various breeds based on what you want them to do. Hey, I'm John Moody and it is amazing to get to be here at Homesteaders of America. So if you're not here this year, um, you need to come out next year and be a part of what we're doing. Cover cropping, if you have any amount of slope to your growing space is a non-negotiable. Elderberry is one of the most geographically distributed plants in the entire world. Hi, I'm Sean. This is my wife, Beth. And we're at the Sow's Ear Farm in Toronto, Ohio. And we've been talking about uh, inputs free farming, how you run a dairy cow on property and how you make the dairy cow the center of your farm. And we are about not going to the feed store. So we give all kinds of dodges for how you can raise everything on your farm. And we raise about 95% of what we eat and what our animals eat on our farm. And we love the Homesteaders of America event. This is the one event in the United States of America that we have ever attended that genuinely focuses on homesteaders. It's about how do you grow food and resilience for your family, real methods for real people, and we love it. This is John from AJ Farms here at the Homesteaders of America conference. Thursday we did a hatch to dispatch workshop where we took the class through from hatching, getting hatching eggs, all the way up to dispatch, and everything in between for housing, genetics, health, feed, amazing class. All right, we found Jason. How's it going? It's going great. Yeah, it's been an awesome time here. And uh, you just did a workshop uh, on Thursday, right? Correct, yeah, we did a hands-on uh, beginner, like kind of basic carpentry, homestead carpentry workshop. So we made a veggie washing station, and, and after the class, we raffled it off to the people who bought a ticket. So somebody took a whole veggie washing station home <laughs> after we built this thing. That's awesome. So And, and plus, I, I made up a, a plan for them, so a veggie washing step-by-step -step plan, so they can take that home if uh, they want to build it for themselves at home. Hi you guys, I'm Anison Scott, I'm from A Farm Girl in the Making, and 2021 I was able to speak on old-fashioned preserving methods, what to do when you're off-grid here at the Homesteaders of America conference. I also taught a class on Thursday in regards to preserving food as well too, and I am the Kids Center Coordinator for Homesteaders of America. One child in two in this country has some kind of um, health condition, very often a learning deficit, and only you, mom and dad, caretaker, guardian, only you can ensure his lifelong optimal health and happiness with nutrient-dense food. Hi, I'm Theron Hutton, or Dr. Homesteader. I uh, just got done talking this morning on like the scientific basis for homesteading as a healthy uh, lifestyle. It was awesome. I loved it. I hope the, the people that were there, I hope it was, you know, I wanted it to be educational, informative, motivational, inspirational. I, I, it was really fun. The crowd was interactive. They were engaged. I enjoyed it. I think they had fun. Um, I got to come a couple years ago, but first time speaking, and I just loved it. I enjoyed it. It's been very well attended. I'm loving getting to know everybody, so um, HOA for the win. I'm a big fan. Homeschooling is the absolute most difficult, most rewarding roller coaster ride of character building blessings you will ever experience. My name is Matt Bollinger and I'm with Stark Brothers Nurseries and Orchards Company. So we gave a presentation yesterday and the idea of how adding fruits, fruit trees, berry plants, nut trees to your homestead is one of the highest return on investments that you can do. So we kind of try to inspire people to grow more of their own fruit. And um, our presentation yesterday we talked about different considerations 
uh, pollination requirements, how to, once the plant gets going, how to prune it, how to water them properly, how to deal with some pests like deer and, and rabbits and, and things like that. Yeah, I guess in a nutshell, that was it. And we're here with Melissa K. Norris. And what did you talk about in your presentations? Yesterday, we talked about how to create a healthier and more prolific garden with soil health. So we talked about crop rotation for the backyard garden, as well as companion planting, and all of the major macro micronutrients to have really healthy soil for less disease in your plants and more harvest, because that's what we're all after. All right, we're here with the Fit Farmer, Mike Dixon. How's it going? Doing great. I mean, what we talk about this weekend? Today, I talked about why the world needs family homesteads. Homesteading is so important in so many ways, and it's actually been a part of our existence since we've been here. For sure. So, and it will always be. We need that deep connection with with the earth, with one another, and it's really important to our to our community. My name is Kaylee and this is my mom Bridget. My YouTube channel is called The Honey Stud and we are homesteaders here in Virginia but we also are beekeepers and herbalists and so part of our story and what we're sharing is teaching people how to homestead and then also beekeep and now we're really introducing and pushing um, you know, the sustainability with herbalism and adding that into what we're doing. Hey, I'm Greg Key with Hall's Tools and we're a Georgia company and we're up here at the HOA. It's a wonderful conference and what we do, simply say it, is we help people grow their own food. We give them seeds, we have supplies, and we have the tools to help you be successful growing your own food. I'm Kate St. Cyr uh, from Massachusetts and I spoke about breeding and fair wing prep on the homestead. Anyway, my name is Daryl Patton. I'm called the Southern Herbalist from Alabama, if you can't tell, so I'm Southern and I'm an herbalist. Anyway, what I'm going to talk about today are viruses, and in particular, respiratory viruses. I hope you brought a notebook, because I'm going to give you some formulas that are very, very good. I'm going to touch on the concept of things like cold, flu, and COVID. Now. I'm going to leave politics out of it, but I'm going to give you my opinion and what I have seen work and not work. We're raising American guinea hogs. They grow very slow, um, so therefore it, the meat is more expensive and it's not as big. Our pork chops are this big. Now it's the best pork chop you'll ever eat in our opinion. All right, we're here with Rory Feet. I'm going to share some stories from our farm and uh, the life we've been living for the last uh, number of years, and then I'm also going to sing some songs. And a lot of these products that she's purchasing are not in stores, so it's not like she can just run out and get them. So what I like to do is I like to buy in bulk. Hey, my name is Jeremy Chambers. I am the uh, head chief in charge at Independence Acres Homestead in Casco, Michigan. And cuniculture is the agriculture process of breeding and raising domestic rabbits as livestock for their meat, fur, or wool. Hello, my name is Paul Hutchison and I'm the owner of Windmill Heights Garden Center. Uh, I gave a talk yesterday on Friday morning about um, greenhouses and hoop houses for homestead use. Our Countryside Publications and Acres USA to be speaking on chicken genetics and breeding pretty colored eggs and sexing chickens. I'm Jen Davidson. I'm a certified professional midwife, a licensed midwife here in the state of Virginia. And a provider that could assess your maternal history and that felt comfortable with doing so. Because again, you don't want someone that isn't comfortable. You don't want somebody trying to catch a breech baby if they don't want to do it. So I'm Doug and this is Andy and we are Hand Farm. And our thing is not 
cured meats, though that is a part of what we do. So we teach people how to kill the pig, how to butcher the pig, and then how to turn it into all kinds of amazing food. It usually looks like a three-day workshop, either at our farm or someone else's. Now folks, when 911 calls you, that might not be a good day. Oops, 911 called. Your cows are out on the railroad track. Amtrak's coming through. We pulled a Richard Petty, you know, and got over there as fast as we could, but it was too late. 70 miles an hour Amtrak went through and mowed down nine of them. That's one big rule of life. Amtrak does not wait for your cows on the railroad. What I'm getting at here is if you are thinking about getting animals, I want you to be scared to death about them getting away from you. May all of your carrots grow long and straight. May tomato blossom end rot affect your Monsanto neighbor's tomatoes. May the coyotes be struck blind at your pasture chickens. May all of your culinary experiments be delectably palatable. May the rain fall gently on your fields, the wind be always at your back, your children rise and call you blessed, and may we all make our nest a better place than we inherited. God bless you. Thank you very much. <laughs>